Neil's Reef Aquarium's top five reef safe fish. Let's go. Hi everyone, it's Neil from Neil's Reef Aquarium. Hope you're all having a good week. Um, so this week we are going to do something a bit different. Uh, rather than um, do an update on the tank, because there isn't really much to update. Um, uh, tanks, well the lights aren't even on there as you can see. Uh, we're going to do something a bit different now. We're going to do a, a start a new series. And that series is going to be based on um, uh, what my favourite fish are. So it could be my favourite reef safe fish, it might be my uh, favourite non-reef safe fish, it could be predator fish, it could be... But I just want to show you what my five favourite fish are, so um, should, we, should we take a look? Right, so let's begin. Um, uh, so my, uh, coming in at number five, is... The Scots Fairy Rass. Now, for me, it's uh, it's in my top five because, I mean, you only have to look at it. Look at the colours. The colours are unbelievable on this fish. And for me, um, colours in a reef tank are one of the most important things, you know, because otherwise we'd all be in the freshwater game, wouldn't we, when the fish is uh, pretty darn boring, in my opinion. Uh, apologies to anyone that has freshwater water fish. Uh, but, yeah. So, um, and this was really hard to pick. I could probably go to do my top 20, you know, but we're going to just go to, it's a quick video today, just of my top five. So in number five is the Scots Fairy Russ. Um, it probably, I could get one in my tank. I don't know why I haven't got one yet. So it is on the list one day, but look at the colours. Google image it yourself, Scots Fairy Russ. Um, they are reef safe. Um, they do, they are, you know, they do do a good job uh, around the tank. Uh, picking up the pests, uh, but I've got a um, jade rust, which is the green one, um, so uh, I've got that one, but you know, I'm not sure if they can go together or not, I'd have to ask Sean, but for me, that is my number five, the Scots Fairy Rass. If you're looking to maybe stock your tank, you've got a new tank, or you're looking for a new member, you won't go far wrong with one of them. Okay, now coming in at number four is a fish that I have had before, that rhymed that did didn't it and it is the yellow watchman goby um it was probably my one of my favorite fish in the tank at the time um now the yellow watchman goby is a reef safe fish it's small so it's perfect for nano tanks as well i think um but the best thing about it is its symbiotic relationship with a pistol shrimp and i used to now <clears throat> and if you look back on um some of my old videos you'll see i've done videos of uh my yellow watchman goby with my pistol shrimp and that was probably the best time when i was enjoying the tank the most was watching those two at work and though i have got a uh, a pink spot goby now and th th there was a pistol shrimp at one point i haven't heard him for ages i'm assuming he's no longer with us um but yeah they just never done it at the front of the tank they used to do it right in the bang in the middle of the rocks i never really saw anything but with this little guy he used to right at the front and yeah I really, really want to get another one. So um, uh, I don't know. I think he'll probably fight with my goby uh, at the moment. But if, if my other goby goes, I'll be buying another one of them. 100%. Beautiful fish. Lovely spots on them. Lots of character. And it's just what you want for, for a reef safe fish. So, um, yeah. If you're looking to get a goby, the yellow watchman goby is my favourite. So coming in at number three now is the yellow tang you it, it is the iconic fish of a reef tank in my opinion it's beautiful um the, just the color you know just the uh the shape everything now i'll be honest with you i'm not a big fan of the of the um the captive bred ones i just don't think they look the same i think they just look very tatty looking and they, they haven't got the perfection of of, of a um, one from the ocean. Now, that's going to sound a bit harsh, but, oh, God, what have I done here? But that is the truth. That's how I feel. Um, I've seen them. And, yes, I, you know, it's good to have captive bred fish. Um, so, you know, it, it will sustain the, uh, the, the hobby, but they just don't look, any, you know, anything 
close to, to how they should, in my opinion. You know, a lot of them I'm seeing are pretty pretty much see through. Uh, but um, but it's a beautiful fish, and as you can see, I have one of those in my tank. He's hide that to hide now, didn't he? But yeah, it's it's one of I've got one of those now. Obviously, a lot of these fish are on the list. Or, you know, I, I, I've probably had at some point or, or got one of them now, and that's why you stock your tank with your favourite fish, don't you? So uh, and uh, the yellow tang is is a perfect example. Beautiful fish. Um, Bit overly, inf uh, I think the price is overinflated. Obviously, the Hawaii ban hasn't helped that. So if you haven't got one and you are looking to get one, they're not gonna, they're not gonna come cheap. Um, but worth the worth the money because they're beautiful. Um, yeah. So at number two, making a list, and this is a tank, uh, a fish that I haven't had before, and I can't have, and you'll see why, because it's the Achilles Tang. Now the Achilles tank says expert only, probably right, uh, but they grow big, so you need a massive tank for it. But it is just stunning. That black and orange is just beautiful, um, and they are. It is such a beautiful, beautiful looking fish. They don't come cheap either. Um, you know, you won't get much change usually from about three hundred quid for one of them. Um, but they are absolutely beautiful fish. Uh, but they are, they're, they're certainly not for Nils Reef Aquarium, as you can see here. Obviously, lights are all off. It's, it's too small. It's only it's a 60 gallon tank or 250 litres. Oh, what's gone? Sorry, um, bear with me. Uh, what's happened here? Sorry, my, my, my phone's playing up. Uh, so, yes, uh, Achilles Tang, beautiful fish. And. Um, it makes number two on my list. Uh, so yeah, if you if you if you've got a decent sized tank and you're looking to get in some tanks, you can't go far wrong with one of them. They're beautiful. They look great, and um, and I've always wanted one. And when I do get a tank upgrade, it will be one of the first fish I, I that I add. So uh, yeah, and then finally number one, and I think we all know what this is going to be, and it's my favourite reef safe fish of all time. And I have had a couple of them, and it's the blue spot jawfish, my little Houdini. Any of you that watch um, um, all my previous videos, you'll know about Houdini was my second jawfish, and um, uh, he was. I called him Houdini based on the fact they are escape artists, um, and that and the previous one had basically found its way through the tiniest of holes to jump out, um, but. Houdini, who didn't actually jump out, he, you know, he wasn't a good escape artist uh, because he, he he never did jump in the end. He, he wasn't really a jumper. He was such a lovely little fish. And uh, I wouldn't recommend anyone buying one of these. If you look on my previous video, uh, um, I think it was a few weeks ago now, I said, I think these, these fish do belong in the ocean. You know, they belong in a lot um, cooler waters and they 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 don't they don't do well in in in, in, a, in aquarium so uh don't go out and get one i wouldn't recommend them yes they're absolutely beautiful i mean those fluorescent blue spots on the yellow they are and they, they've got such character and it is and you, you know what's gonna happen one day i'm gonna come back with one again but you know i'm you my heart's my head's all in my heart on this one because I just know it's not fair. It's not. It's not. It's not even fair having them in the tank. They don't. They, 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 they're. Not, they're not happy. Um, they don't belong there. I know you could say that of all the fish, but these ones don't actually do well. Um, so, but it is my favourite fish. It's the, the the logo of the channel, and um, yeah, they don't come cheap either. So I've you know I've, I think I paid two hundred and twenty. £229 every time and I went through two of those um, so you know it's, it's, it's quite hard although I did have this Houdini you have for, for a while um, so that's it so that is my number one reef safe fish um, so just to confirm we had the Scots Fairy Rass at number five then we had the Yellow Watchman Gobi made it to number uh, four the Yellow Tang at number three the Achilles Tang at number two and then the blue spot jawfish made it to number one so that is my top four uh top five so there we go that's my top five i bet people are asking me all the time obviously what my favorite fish are and um 
a lot of the time you get put on the spot, so I don't really know. So I just trying to think, well, it's obviously with Blue Spot Jawfish, but what are my other favourites? So they are my top five. Um, some mentions, obviously Regal Tang as well, was in, and the Powder Blue Tang was one of my, that should that was close to making the list as well. Um, Hell Freaky Firefish, um, is, is, it, 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 it was, it was between that and the, um, the Scots Fairy Rast, I'll be honest, and, uh, that is an, a, a beautiful, beautiful fish, absolutely stunning, and I, you know, it was, it, it just, it, it just didn't, uh, the Scots Fairy Rast just got there for me, um, but yeah, that's my that's my five favourite fish. So uh, thank you to all for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We will have an update on the tank coming soon, but there's not really much to update. The parameters are pretty stable. Nothing's died. Nothing's changed really. So I just want to try and do something different on the channel just so, so I can put a video out each week. Because some, I mean, last week I just really didn't have nothing to say. So I, I didn't actually do a video. But I want to try and get one out weekly. So we're going to have some fun with this one. So we're, this could be a little series we're going to do we're going to come up with uh we're going to do, do a few top fives um maybe uh, there'll be updates in between but if we've got a little bit of a spare week we're uh we'll do it we'll do neil's neil's top five and uh yeah hope, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and um and let me know what your top five are as well put them in the comments what your top five are. i'm always good to know uh, especially my favorite youtube as well you know who you are put them in the comments and that, well, that's it. I will see you lot next week. See ya.